Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about a very important structure of a plant which is the seeds. So seeds, they are born inside the fruits, right? We have talked about the fruits in a previous video and the seeds, they are formed from the ovule. So the ovules, they develop into seeds only after the process of fertilization, right? After the fusion of male and female gametes, the ovules which is present inside the ovary, they get transformed into the seeds. The outer covering of the fruit which is made up of the outer covering of the ovary, whereas the ovules they develop into seeds after the process of fertilization. The seeds, they are made up of two most important uh, parts which is the seed coat and it contains the embryo. What is embryo? Embryo is the miniature form of the future plant. So it is a reduced structure of a future plant which is going to become a big and larger plant the miniature form of that larger plant is present in the form of embryo inside the seed coat or inside the seed so embryo this is the future part of a future plant in the miniature condition now the question is why the formation of seeds why the plants need to make seeds seeds are basically structures which are very protective in nature Seeds contain reserve food materials. These reserve food materials are for this miniature future plant for during the unfavorable conditions. So seed is a form of a structure which actually helps in the survival of the plants during the unfavorable conditions. When there is lack of moisture, when there is lack of proper food materials, then these plants which are very susceptible to damage, they are protected by the seeds. So seed is a protective structure for these miniature plants. So embryo, this is the future plant inside the seed or inside the seed coat. Now the embryo, this is made up of the radical plumule and one or two cotyledons. Now what is the radical? Radical is the portion of a plant which later on develops into the roots which grows below the soil. Whereas the plumule, this is the portion of the plant which later on develops into the shoot which grows above the soil bearing the fruits, flowers, leaves, branches, stem etc. And the seeds, they have got cotyledons. This can be of two types. First of all, they can have only a single cotyledon structure which contains the stored reserve food materials. Single cotyledon. This are known as the monocotyledonous seeds. A very good example is coconut. The second exam type is known as the dicotyledonous seed. A uh, very good example is gram. So they have got two cotyledons, right? So it can be single cotyledonous or dicot, right? These two types of seeds are mostly found. Some seeds, they have stored food in the endosperms. For example, in case of the coconut, the endosperms, they have got the stored food. The seeds which have got the endosperm is known as the endospermic and even they are known as the albuminous seeds. Whereas those which do not have the endosperm, they are known as the non-endospermic or ex-albuminous seeds. So in this video, we have talked about an important structure of a plant which is seed, which is a basically protective structure for the miniature condition of the plants or the future plants in miniature condition. So they protect this future plant inside the seeds. They have got reserve food materials inside it. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.